Welcome back to the Miss Clark's Class channel. We're already on chapter six of Science Night. Last time we checked in with Robbie, he had created his Operation Fifth Grade Takeover Day Two list. And on that list, he included trade job. Now that he's back in school, I wonder what he's gonna do. Let's find out. Chapter six is called Recess Agreement and is narrated by Robbie. If you have your own copy of Science Night, we're starting out on page 25. After Julie's weather report, I realized that I should be the one entertaining the class first thing in the morning, not taking boring roll call. There are so many weather jokes I could tell. Knock, knock, who's there? Wet, wet who? Wet me in, it's raining out here. That would have been the perfect opener to today's report. At recess, I spot Julie on the swings. As I head towards her, Mary Sue stops me. It's only my second day at the school, but I can already tell she's a goody two-shoes who thinks she runs it. Robbie, right? I'm Mary Sue, how do you do, she says. Yeah, I'm fine, I say as I try to walk away. She grabs my arm and says, I'd like to make you an offer. How would you like to be the class germinator? You don't wanna be it, I ask, while keeping my eyes on Julie. I can't lose sight of her. Once the bell rings, Everyone rushes inside and she doesn't sit next to me in class. Do I look like someone who wants to be a germinator? She says with a disgusted look on her face. Uh, I'm not sure what a germinator looks like, I say. Well, she says, they don't look like me. I'm meant to be the teacher assistant and charge of schedules, grades, awards, things like that. You do realize I just take roll call and staple papers, right? I ask. Just right now, that's all you do, she says with a smirk, but there's so much more potential for the teacher's assistant than the class germinator. I bet by the end of the year, you could be on a first name basis with Miss Clark. No thanks, I say. I'm planning to ask Julie to trade with me. You wanna be the weather reporter, she asks while looking at Julie. Why? Because the weather reporter gets to put on a show for two minutes every morning. All eyes would be on me, I explain. Mary Sue taps her forehead as if it will help her brain problems all faster. Finally, she says, how about we include Julie in this trade? You get to be the weather reporter, Julie can be the germinator, and I'll be the wonderful and adorable teacher assistant. I'm fine with that, but this only works if we get Julie to agree with the switch, I say. I then notice Julie has caught both of us looking at her. It's time to make our move. So that's it for chapter six. After seeing Julie give her weather report in chapter five, Robbie has decided that he wants to trade jobs with her. However, we met another student in their class, Mary Sue, and she wants to trade jobs with Robbie. Quite a negotiation going on. I wonder what Julie's gonna think. Let's keep reading and find out. Chapter seven is called Job Trading and is narrated by Julie. If you have your own copy of Science Night, we're on page 29. As the school day rolls on, I realize all my classmates, even ones I've never met, know my name. I feel a confidence I've never felt before at school. Yes, I rule the upstairs at home, but I've never commanded that same authority at school. Who knew being the classroom weather reporter would have such a fan base? At recess, Gracie and I are trying to swing in sync when I spot Mary Sue and Robbie whispering and pointing at me. It doesn't take a great detective to know that I'm their topic of conversation. Once they realize they've been busted, they start walking towards us. Gracie, who is oblivious to what has just transpired, keeps rambling on and on about our latest crush. Her voice fades as my palms start to sweat. What would Mary Sue and Robbie want with me? I don't even know Robbie. And Mary Sue normally acts as if she doesn't even recognize me, even though we've been in the same school for years. Julie? Mary Sue says with a smile, Robbie and I would like to make you an offer. I stop pumping my legs so my swing slows down. Robbie keeps shifting his eyes back and forth between Mary Sue and me. That's right, Robbie adds, this is important. Gracie and I hop off our swings and both stick our landings. We've been attached at the hip since first grade, but for some reason we aren't in the same class this year. It's as if Principal Diaz didn't get the memo. At least we get recess together. What do you two want? Gracie protectively questions. It's about our classroom job duties, Mary Sue says while putting her hands on her hips. Robbie got teacher assistant and I got germinator. I'm not 
not interested in squirting clear goo onto a bunch of dirty hands. And I'm not interested in being the teacher's pet. Not now, not ever, Robbie proudly declares. Mary Sue rolls her eyes and turns to Robbie. Teacher assistant doesn't mean you're the teacher's pet. It means you're second in charge. She looks back at Gracie and me, and we all know I'm the best for that position, she boasts. I nervously put my hands in my pockets and suggest they just switch jobs. I'm sure Miss Clark will let you two trade. What do you need from me? I wanna be the weather whiz kid of 5B and I won't give teacher assistant to Mary Sue unless you join our trade, Robbie declares. I was born to talk in front of the class. I could come up with so many weather jokes. Wouldn't you rather be the classroom germinator? Whoa, says Gracie while throwing her hands up. I hear that Julie gave an awesome weather report this morning. Tell him, Jules. I like to think no one notices I'm nervous, that somehow I hide it just enough to where they think I choose to be quiet. But Gracie is right. I felt great after my morning weather report. On the other hand, I originally wanted to be Germinator. All those thoughts go through my mind within seconds. Meanwhile, Mary Sue and Robbie are staring at me, waiting for me to accept their offer. As I look down at the ground, I say quietly, no thanks. Robbie can't believe his ears. What? Come on, you know I'm made for this. I lift my head and Mary Sue and Robbie look shocked. Gracie has her arm around me and is proudly smiling back at them. I appreciate the offer, I say, but I'll keep my job. I think I'm starting to like it. The bell rings and Mary Sue and Robbie take off towards the building. As they run, Robbie yells back, let us know if you change your mind. Gracie grabs both my shoulders and looks me dead in the eyes. I'm proud of you, Jules. You make a great weather girl. Don't let those knuckleheads talk you into switching if you don't want to. I take a deep breath and realize how glad I am I didn't trade. Sure, Germinator would be an easy, respectable job that doesn't make me the center of attention every day. But maybe I'm starting to secretly like being center stage. So that's it for chapter six and seven. That was a fun double read this time. A lot of negotiations going on. Do you think Julie made the right decision to turn down Mary Sue and Robbie's offer? Do you think Robbie is going to quietly accept her decision? We also got to meet another character, Gracie. She's in a different class, but she's one of Julie's good friends. I like how she encourages Julie to stand up for herself. Make sure you click to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, give me a thumbs up, and stay tuned for more videos. Until then, class dismissed.